Hey stars, it has been a very busy month here on the island of Carousel. Before we get started today, I'd like to show you what I've been up to. I finally completed the staircases leading up to the neighborhood. And sadly, one of my starter villagers asked to move out. I also decided that if I was going to complete any more builds, I should probably bulk up on my furniture. So I hopped over to the archipelago to do some work. If you're not familiar with Happy Home Paradise, it's a DLC or downloadable content for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Happy Home Paradise is included with the Nintendo Online Plus Expansion Pack or it can be purchased on its own to pair with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Working at Paradise Planning has really helped me to blossom my creativity. And it often helps me get unstuck anytime I have a creative block. Let's see how the design for my very first client went. What do you think? It looks like my client is pleased. And after I was completed, I got my very first paycheck in Pokey. Pokey is a currency that can only be used on the archipelago. When I returned to the island, I found that Sly had moved out, so let's go on a mini villager hunt. If you're new to the channel or just need a refresher, Carousel is my hometown themed island and it's based off my hometown in western New York. So I am choosing villagers that remind me of my home. Sadly, I didn't find any of them this time, but at least my autofill was pretty epic. Someone moves in and someone moves out. So long, Velma. Okay, before you point it out, I have resorted back to time traveling and also treasure islands. So sue me. <laughs> Just look at Soleil's expression. I have seen some pretty cute villagers on this hunt, but unfortunately no one that I am looking for. Well, I'm out of tickets. On to the next day. Oh, look, it's still open. Let's go on one more hunt. Shut up. It's Lopez. He is my all-time favorite villager. Well, he's not exactly who I need for this island, but he is coming home with me. After Lopez moved in, I participated in festival festivities. I love Pave. Whew, all that energy. Now that we are all caught up, it's time to focus on today's task. Today, I am building an apple farm that is based on Kelly's Farm Market in Hilton, New York. 
Kelly's Farm Market, or Kelly's Apple Farm as I call it, is my favorite place to visit anytime I'm in Western New York. Just look at all of the apples. Kelly's is famous for a number of things, but my favorite include the local honey straight from the hive, the fresh and crisp apple cider straight from the press. You can even watch how it's made. And also its treats. Look at those candy apples. And my favorite, the hot cider donuts. You can cozy up by the fire or browse around the farmer's market. The juicy Macintosh apples are my favorite. And look at the selection of pumpkins sunflowers, and gourds. Look at that busy bee. Kelly's Farm Market is so special to me. And if you're ever in Hilton, New York, be sure to check it out. I hope that you can see exactly why I chose this as my first build on Carousel. Other than the neighborhood, of course. As much as I could watch that footage all day long, let's get started. And we'll get started with the sign. The heart stamp is a really good tool to use if you're creating an apple. Pixel art is not my forte by any means, but I think this looks pretty accurate. There's not a whole lot of room on this little square, but I'll make do. Well, I can sort of make out what that says. You get the idea. Perfect. This is the area that I'm going to be transforming. Let's get this started. First, I'm going to have to move a lot of trees.
map out the area by placing down a path. I'm going to be creating a pumpkin patch behind the building, so I think I'll use the dark dirt path for that area. Something about this is so satisfying. Now that I've laid out an area for the pumpkin patch, the building, and the front farmer's market, I'm also going to lay down pathing for a sunflower field, or yellow cosmos, and also an area that I'll be planting apple trees. How about them apples? While I really love the flower choices that we have in this game, I am very disappointed that we don't have sunflowers. I think they're pretty essential. Hey Nintendo, for the next game can we please have more varieties of flowers, and fruits, and vegetables for that matter. Although this road is going to be a dead end, at least it'll give some street side parking. It's time to lay down some concrete. Although I didn't do it in this video, I think I may end up adding some tile as well. I just didn't think about it at the time. I'm also laying down a gravelly area for the farmer's market. Farmer's markets are pretty essential in my hometown, and this will not be the only one on the island. I really love the storefronts and the retro transportation stop items. I think that they are essential for a rustic style build.
I'm using these customized stalls to place items like pumpkins and sunflowers. And here is where I struggled a little bit. Not so much the terraforming portion, just the part where I was trying to give this building some depth. I really liked how this part turned out, but I ended up tearing it down in the end. It just didn't work out, and I'm kind of bummed about that. It ended up looking really good, except the fact that there was exposed cliff. I tried everything I could think of to cover it by placing simple panels and the curtains in front of it, and you just couldn't really walk in between. And I wanted my villagers to be able to enjoy this space, so I ended up tearing it down. This goes to show that even if you try to plan ahead by mapping out the area, there still will be little adjustments here and there that need to be made. I'm still so bummed about this centerpiece. I might have to go back and try it again and see if I can make it work somehow. Even if I have to move the garden in the back and collapse the cliff in the back. I just really liked how it looked and it kind of stinks that I couldn't make it happen. Ugh, the storefront just wouldn't center for me. See, I could get through, but let's say Grizzly wanted to go in for a donut. He definitely wouldn't be able to, and that would be a shame. I am so in love with the custom design codes for these honey shelves. Sadly, I haven't caught any bees yet, so I guess this wasp will have to do for now. Just remind me later to swap it out with a bee. Wasps are jerks. Just laying out the kitchen reminds me of the way that it smells when you walk into Kelly's. Ah, oh, it smells so delicious. Like cinnamon and fresh apple cider and the crackling fire. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. I swear, half the battle is trying to figure out where to put these simple panels.
I swear, if I had a bell for every time I got stuck, <laughs> I'd be rich. The hearth is always my favorite part of a build. There is nothing like a cozy fire. This part was tricky too because I started running out of space. I borrowed some of these ideas from my Forest Core Island spruce wood. If you haven't seen my apple cidery build, make sure that you check it out. I'll have it linked above. These apple pies look delicious. It's time to set up the market. I love using the spooky lanterns as larger pumpkins. If you turn them around, no one will ever know. Oops, there's not enough walking space. I better fix that. One thing I like to do while decorating rustic areas is to use mismatched furniture. This is turning out so cute. Ooh, bells. I could always use more money. I really had to use my imagination for the cider press. The cider press wouldn't be complete without apples. No sunflowers. I guess these cosmos will have to do.
let's add some finishing touches to the outdoor area. We are getting so close to completion. It's always a little tricky designing spaces with a lot of furniture, especially if you need to be able to move around. And like I said earlier, I really would like to have my villagers be able to use this space as well, so I really want to be cognizant of where I place items. Oops, I forgot to put away my slingshot. I hate it when I do that. Now I just need to finish laying out all of the simple panels. I can't believe how good this looks.
just a little bit of waterscaping to do. I might come back to this area and touch it up later. to create the pumpkin patch. I'm still so bummed out that the curtain partition didn't work out. And now for some finishing touches. It just looks so empty in the middle. I'll have to go back and try it again later on, but this'll do for now. Welcome to Kelly's Apple Farm, or Farm Market. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. Thank you so much for watching.